I want to make sure everybody understands this, so I'm going to go ahead and ease into this tutorial. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's time for another tutorial from Power Director University. It's me, your boy, Malik. Back on your screen with all of the Power Director goodness you know and love. Today we're bringing you the tutorial on the ease in and ease out for PIP objects and titles in Power Director 14 Ultimate. Let's get into it. Here we are in Power Director 14 Ultimate. I have a JPEG down in the timeline. I also have a PIP object in the timeline and I have a title in the timeline. I'm gonna play around with these and show you the ease in, ease out features, but I wanna start off with a little bit of ease in, ease out 101. Sounds like that could be a new little rap song or something. I might make a little jingle out of that later on. So basically when you're looking at keyframing your title or your PIP object or whatever. If you don't add any ease in or ease out uh, functionality to your keyframes, then basically what happens is your movement of the position, one position to the next, has the same speed throughout. That could be kind of jarring or kind of sudden or kind of abrupt to some people. So what you can do is you can add an ease out to your first keyframe. If you add an ease out to your first keyframe, it ramps up to the speed and it gradually goes up to the speed that it's gonna go to and then it stays at that constant speed. The other option that you can do is to add an ease in to your second keyframe. If you add ease in to the second keyframe, then it will already be going at the speed from one position to the next, but what it will do then is it will ramp down or it will gradually decrease the speed down to the next keyframe and it will ease into its next position, which is less jarring and less abrupt. And then if you really wanna get kind of fanciful with it, you can add an ease out to your first keyframe and let it ramp up to the speed hit that speed and then add a ease in to the second keyframe, let it ramp down or decrease into that next position. Now that I've given you the little visuals, let's get it done in the video. So if I go to this PIP object, I can double click it or I can left click on it and then I can click on modify to open up the PIP designer. So let's go ahead and click on modify. And now we have the PIP designer. The first thing I wanna concentrate on is this section down here. Here we have position, scale, opacity, and then we have the ability to add keyframes. So what I wanna do is, let's say I want to have this um, caption thingy appear off of the screen, start off of the screen and then come onto the screen. So here would be my first keyframe in my first position. So I'm gonna, matter of fact, let's not do that. Let's keep it on the screen so you can see it the whole time. So I'm gonna make this my first keyframe position by adding a keyframe. And now I'm going to move this to another position. And I'm going to move my playhead to where I want that object to be in that position. And I'm going to add another keyframe. So what will happen now is this item will actually move from here to here. Now, since I didn't add any keyframes, when I press play, 
it's going to move at one constant speed. Some people may want to use ease in or ease out to make it less jarring. So as you can see here, I'm on the first keyframe. My playhead is on top of that one and it's red to tell that it's enabled. And here you can tell that ease out is now available to me. Also, if I right click on this keyframe, I have the option to ease out. Okay. If I move this to the next keyframe by clicking on the select next keyframe button, you will now see that the ease in option is available. And if I right click on this one, I can choose to ease in. So let's say I added the ease out function to this one. If I click on ease out, I can modify the speed of the, how it ramps up or ramps down. I'm going to leave it as it is, but if I click on play, you'll see it starts off slower, then it's going to speed up. So let's remove that. Sometimes you have to click on stop if you click play to make sure that you can change your options and things. I forget to do that sometimes. So I'm going to click on ease out and now I'm going to move to the next keyframe by clicking the select next keyframe button. And on this one, I have the option to ease in. So I'm going to select ease in. And now when I play it, you'll see it's going to start off at one speed and it's going to slow down and ease into the final keyframe. And now the last option you had, the last ease out and then also ease in to the last keyframe. So when I press play, it's going to ramp up, hit the speed, then it's going to ramp back down. So that's how you get it done using your PIP objects. So let's look at a title now. So I can double click to open the title or I can click on modify. I'm going to click on modify. And on titles, you don't have any of the buttons here or the ability to speed up or speed down your um, keyframe. All you can do is really add your keyframe. And then you can right click and choose ease in for your second keyframe or choose ease out for your first keyframe, but you cannot modify the speed. So I click on play. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now you can ease in and ease out your PIP objects in your titles. All right, my power director peeps, if you like the content that I'm bringing to you, do me a favor, click on the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Comments, leave me your comments. I love comments. I love to help all of my power director peeps out there. And if I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help that you deserve. And last, but definitely not least, you gotta subscribe. 
subscribe in order to get content like this on a regular basis. If you want to know when I'm uploading videos and you want to know when I'm bringing you more of this power director love, you got to subscribe. If you don't, you'll be missing out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.